Hello everybody, welcome to JLab TV. I'm Jade Lab and this is Football Manager 2016 Unemployment Challenge. And I'm just going and looking at the board part of the uh, menu screen and showing that we have bought our stadium, well showing proof that we bought our stadium last season, at the end of last season, and that we are improving our youth facilities now as well. And that we got a uh, affiliated club in Whitehawk who are actually in the same division where we were last year actually. I'm going to try and we can do this. Bollocks! I was hoping we could. Uh, I'll do that again next time. But yeah, um, I'll try and get the 20 facilities uh, to increase, improve, re and as soon as possible. But until then, we've got £10 million to spend. Why the hell not? I'm very confident in my abilities right now. But uh done the next, last, the next two months of... October and November so let's see how we got on. The first month of October was at home to Manchester United when we went behind when Bernardo Silva scored the first goal of the game and his fall for the season, the 39th minute of the game. We found ourselves going 2-0 down from this corner where Stones is shot apparently went in as an own goal for Mitov which was rather annoying. We were able to get ourselves a goal back when Borsov Shot was saved by the hair, but Miska was able to get out to the rebound for his third of the season in the 73rd minute of the game. But it wasn't enough to stop us from losing the match, unfortunately, so we had lost our first encounter with Manchester United, which is rather irritating, and I'm not going to lie about that. Our next game was against Sheffield Wednesday, away from home, and we got ourselves the lead when Wallace scored that effort after McCarthy was not able to hold on to the ball in the 12th minute of the game. We did, however, concede a penalty in towards the end of the first half and it was a 97 minute of the game that we were hoping to hold on and Baker missed his penalty so Romero who had come back from injury after being injured beforehand had managed to stop Sheffield Wednesday from scoring from the penalty spot and ensure that we got another three points our next game was away from home against Arsenal and they took the lead when Antonio Martial scored in the 35th minute of the game for his fourth goal of the season. And it was just two minutes later that Arsenal were able to double their lead. Martial involved again, this time with a cross, and Salinas scored his fifth of the season to make it 2-0. It was in the second half that we found ourselves going 3-0 down, just four minutes into the second half, Salinas' shot was saved, but the rebound found itself going to Oxley Chemling for his third of the season. We were able to get a goal back, however, despite our difficulties. Owen found Borisov and Another mix-up in defence allowed Kiapi to score his second goal of the season in the 80th minute of the game. It wasn't enough to stop us from losing, mind you, but we at least had a goal to go ahead and claim. Even we weren't the better team on the day. Our first game of November was at home to Milton Keynes in the League Cup, and we found ourselves going 1-0 up in the 23rd minute of the game when Scott Wallace scored his fourth goal of the season. And we ensured we were going to go through to the next round just nine minutes later, and Fabiani scored with this effort. It looks like it took the Fletcher on the way in, but that's not a bad way to get your first goal for your new club. We're now through to the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup, where we will be facing the cup holders, Newcastle United. Our next game was at home against Everton, and we found ourselves going 1 0 down when Bakuna scored after a mistake from Verkic allowed him in to get his first goal of the season. It was just a minute later that we found ourselves equalising Wallace found in Cooper. Cooper found Borsov and Borsov scored his sixth goal of the season with that effort. Thank God. It ensured that we got a share of the spoils and that we avoided defeat against a team we got promoted with last season. Our next game was at home to Brighton and we found ourselves going behind when Reyes found Barnett and Barnett scored with that effort in the first segment of the game for his sixth goal of the season. However, it was just five minutes later that we found ourselves getting an equaliser. Cooper found Borisov, he found Wallace, and Wallace found the back of the net with that effort for his fifth goal of the season and 50th goal for Macclesfield. We did go behind again, unfortunately, in the 50th minute of the game when Reyes was able to play this ball in for Barnett, who has scored with that effort for his seventh of the season and second of the game. And just three minutes later, there was a hat trick scored by Barnett. Reyes found Boris Hoofs and Barnett was able to get to the ball before our keeper was. He had absolutely taken us apart and we had no answer for him at all. I was really disappointed with how he played actually to be completely honest with you. 
The last game of November was away from home against Aston Villa and we found ourselves going 1-0 down in the fourth minute of the game where Fisher scored with that effort for his second of the season. We did get an equaliser before half time though. Cooper found Malombi who had two attempts to score but Wallace managed to score in his first attempt for his sixth of the season in the 33rd minute of the game and for his 50th league goal. However, we found ourselves going 2-1 down in the 73rd minute of the game thanks to that absolute nightmare from Romero. And we found ourselves equalising for the second time this match when Cooper took a shot and Blanco could not keep that out. I don't know what he was doing, but I wasn't going to complain. We were just happy to have gone to share the spoils and to escape with a point which would keep us out of the relegation zone. So we haven't had the best of seasons so far and quite frankly it's almost expected but four games without a win is hurting our chances of staying away from the relegation zone even if the teams in the relegation zone are also suffering the same sort of form as us. I'd like to get away from the relegation zone sooner rather than later and with Norwich City next I think it's a good chance for us to get a win even if Norwich have taken two points in the last two matches. Sooner rather than later, we do need to get another win, and our defence being the worst, the joint worst in the league is not helping our cause. But I am going to end this video here. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Hope you like and favourite this video. It will really help me out a lot. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.